Hi guys, today we have Matt Banstead from Kookaburra who will be talking through the 2020 range of Kookaburra cricket products. Yeah. Thanks, Abby. Okay, well, firstly, thank you to AJ Sports for the opportunity um, to run through and present, showcase some of the, the new products. So we're going to kick off with bats. Um, Kookaburra this year, we've looked to develop a range of bats that are suitable for, for varying different types of players. Uh, whether it be from guys that just want to stand there and hit fours and sixes all day long, right through to your more traditional stroke players. So, we're going to kick off with the kahuna. There it is. When you say kahuna, it's very kind of synonymous with kookaburra. Um, first developed in 2001, so best part of 20 years in the range now. Um, in terms of, it's also been used obviously by a number of, of high profile, world class players over the years, including Ricky Ponting, uh, A.V. de Villiers and most recently Jess Butler. So we've kind of looked at the Kahuna as the bat for the more sort of dynamic player, um, the player that's looking to score runs all around the wicket. In terms of shape, profile, uh, fairly unchanged. It's been very similar for the, for the first, for the last few years. Uh, we have, as you can see, nice big edges, uh, a nice high spine, the spine running all the way through the bat down to the toe. Sweet spot on the Kahuna is a fairly mid-positioned sweet spot. Um, weight range on the Kahunas, 2.8 to 2.10. Uh, we're using new Vertex grips on all of the Kahuna bats. That is your standard range of Kahunas. Why do you think um, the Kahuna range has been so popular and it's run for so many years where uh, I don't think any other brand has really had such a popular range that's run mm. you know, for over 10 years? I mean, I think it's become quite iconic. Um, let's say it's, it's kind of synonymous with Kookaburra. People say Kahuna and they know what that is. Um, again, it's been used by a number of high profile players over the years as well. And I think we're probably at a stage where it has a lot of repeat purposes. So people have had a Kahuna, they've used it for three or four years, they buy another Kahuna, yeah. they like the shape, they like the profile, it works for them. So. Yeah. Also, um, within the Kahuna range, we have two extra bats. The first of those is the Big Kahuna. It's become, I mean, as you probably know, become a bit of a legend over the last four or five years. And as the name would suggest, it is a big bat. Huge bat, huge profile, massive edges, weight range to 12 to three pounds, something like that. So I would suggest perhaps not the bat for the guy that's just looking to push it and run quick singles. Yeah. But that is your Big Kahuna. The other one is the Kahuna Light, which as the name would suggest, it is a lightweight bat. So £2.6 to £2.8 is your weight range. It is the same overall length as a standard Kahuna. However, we're an inch shorter in the blade, an inch longer in the handle. Okay, uh, yeah, weight range 2.6 to 2.8. Still plenty of wood through, through the sweet spot. Ideal, I would suggest, for players that are perhaps moving from, the third, from their last junior bat to their first adult bat, or even just the players that like the Kahuna but want a lighter version. So that's your Kahuna light. Okay, second up uh, we have the Ghost, which has become a firm favourite in the Kookaburra range over the last four or five seasons. Very classic, um, white graphics, and really this is aimed at the more traditional stroke player. Um, in terms of shape profile, very similar um, to the Kahuna. In terms of big edges, nice high spine that runs all the way down to the toe. Subtle difference, slightly lower middle on this one, okay, um, which kind of suits the, the traditional players that are looking to get onto the front foot and drive the ball. Okay. Players grip on all of the ghost bats, weight range on the ghost, 2.8.5 to 2.10.5. Okay. Um, and once again, as with the kahunas, um, there is also a big ghost, which is the ghost of scene, and also a ghost light. So there is the option of a heavy ghost and a light one. In regards to the preparation of um, Kookaburra bats, uh, what does the company do uh, to get it on the shelves and into other customers? Is okay. there anything uh, yep. special? So all of our bats are pre-prepared. Um, so it's, we say pre-prepared as opposed to match ready. Um, so we have we've knocked in the bats, we've given them a light coat of oil, and we've also applied rubber toe guards onto all of the bats. Um, however, we would always recommend someone that buys the bat spends a bit more time knocking it in not five or six hours like it used to be years ago but you know an hour or two it's well worth it um, 
apply another coat of oil before you go out and use the bat. Um, the more time, ultimately the more time that you invest, you spend getting your bat ready, the more chances are you will perform better. Next up, making its debut uh, for, for 2020 is the new Shadow range of bats. Um, very powerful, aggressive profile. Um, so it's kind of aimed at the, the players that are looking to dominate in the middle, score runs quickly. In terms of the shape of the bat, again, we have nice big edges, a nice high spine. The spine on this bat, unlike the Kahuna and the Ghost, just tapers off towards the toe. So that just enhances the pickup of the bat. Um, weight range on these is two pounds six, sorry, not two pounds six, two pounds eight to two pounds ten. Um, we also on this bat have a slightly square tapered toe as opposed to a more traditional rounded toe. Idea of that is that it just, you know, just staying at the crease, it just sits nicely and also strangely it gives it a bit of an optical illusion as you look down the back of the bat being slightly wider. So that's the, that's the shadow. So whilst you're holding it up like that, one thing I've noticed is the different shape of the handle right at the top. What's the thing behind that? Okay, so that's a counterbalance which we put on the top. Um, players have used counterbalances over in the past. They just put an extra grip on or something like that at the top just to create a knob at the top of the handle. This has actually worked into the handle. The idea behind it is that primarily it just puts a bit of extra weight above Above your hand, and that just enhances again. Okay, next up, again, um, making its debut for 2020 is the new pace range of bats. Very striking graphics, very striking blue. Um, this is a lightweight bat. Okay, so two pounds six to two pound eight is your weight range. Um, if you look at the profile of the bat, slightly thinner edges than we've seen with the other families. Still maintaining a nice high spine. Um, Nice full profile. We don't believe um, in taking big scallops out of the back of the back of the bat because that potentially um, affects the performance of the bat. So we keep a nice full uh, full profile. Again, the spine just tapers off at the toe just to, to enhance the pickup. Wave grips on all of the pace bats. And it's say two pound six, two pound eight. So nice light. It's got a very traditional profile in terms of the slightly thinner edges. Mm -hmm. um, but the highest spine. Yeah. Did you guys have a sort of target quick in mind when you were making this pack? Um, yeah. When we first developed it, we thought of sort of next generation, new generation stroke players. So uh, younger players coming through, perhaps buying their first short handle. Ideal weight, really, for someone coming from a, a junior bat. It just seems to be a general trend at the moment. People wanting lighter weight bats. So that. Finally, in the Kookaburra 2020 bat range, we have the new Concept 20 bat. Perhaps a look into the future in terms of the graphics, different graphics to the four core families that we've already seen. Um, in terms of profile of the bat, again, it's kind of an aggressive profile, so um, a nice high spine. We've got scalloping on the toes, so it just enhances, again, enhances the pickup of the bat. Nice big edges, um, slightly shorter in the blade, this one, so it's about half an inch shorter, half an inch longer in the handle, so the same overall length as a standard men's bat. Um, weight range two pounds eight to two pounds 10. We then have a very nice, very striking, yeah. see-through silicone grip, which feels fantastic in the hand, nicely cushioned, um, and again, potentially enhances we also have features that we saw in the shadow bat. So we've got um, counterbalance at the top and also a square tapered toe on the bottom. That is the new concept 20 bats. Okay, that's it for the 2020 range of bats. Uh, needless to say, all of the bats that we've seen are available in different grades, different price points, hopefully something to suit everyone's budget. Um, thank you for watching and um, if you want any more information on the bats, please visit the Kookaburra website. Please come into AJ Sports. Come and pick the bats up. Nothing better than picking a bat up, feeling it. Make sure you get the right bat for you.